So should you invest in this company? We're going to look at its business and figure out its fair price and see if you should buy it or not. We're going to go over these metrics and that will tell us whether everything we need to know about how the company is doing. We'll also compare our company with its nearest competitor and the S&P 500. Growth. What you see here is the projected earnings growth for the next year and the next five years. You can see our company in black, its competitor in gray, and the S&P 500 in red. For growth, we want our company to have an overall higher rate than the other two. On the top right of the screen, you'll see which is the better growing stock. Hype. Hype is an indicator of expectations, and we use the P-E ratio to determine that hype. What you see here is the current P-E ratio for our company, its competitor, and the S&P 500. We want a low P-E ratio, ideally lower than the S&P 500. That means it's less hyped up by speculators. If there's no P-E ratio available, that just means there's way too much hype for a company with no earnings. Efficiency. Efficiency is how much profit our company is able to generate from its assets, and we measure that with a return on assets. For some companies like banks, we'll use return on equity. What you see here is the current ROA or ROE of our company, its competitor, and the S&P 500. What you want is a high return, giving us a more efficient company, or at least one that's better than the S&P 500. Book value. Book value is a company's liquidation value, and we're going to use the price to book ratio as a way to measure how many times the stock is trading relative to its liquidation value. What you see here is the current price to book ratio of our company, its competitor, and the S&P 500. A price to book under one is ideal, which indicates extreme value, although anything under three is good but a ratio below the S&P 500, I think is even better. Dividends. The true definition of an investment is an asset that pays you cash while you own it. On the left side, you see the dividend yield and the buyback yield. The dividend will pay you while the buyback yield will increase your stake in the business. We want a high yield for both. On the right side, you see the payout ratio. That's basically what percentage of the company's earnings are paid out as a dividend. We want a low payout ratio. The ideal mix is a high dividend and a buyback yield with a low payout ratio. Before we continue, consider joining my Patreon. It helps support this channel, but more importantly, you'll get access to every company I've analyzed so you can quickly compare between them. It's updated all the time. Head to patreon.com forward slash growth shares or click on the link in the description. The business. We've gone over five metrics and these are what we use to determine a good or bad business. What you see here is the total score based on rankings of our company, its competitor, and the S&P 500. The best asset in each metric will receive a 3, the middle one will receive a 2, and the worst performer will get a 1. When we put everything together, we get a quick look at which is a better business. I want to stress business, not overall investment. But the business portion of the analysis, it's still the biggest part, but it's not everything. We still need to look at the fair price. Fair price. So here's our company's fair price. What you see here are four different fair prices, one from a consensus of analysts following the stock, one from Guru Focus based on a discounted cash flow model, Morningstar's fair price, and my fair price. The fifth price on the very right is the average fair price of all four. The chart will tell us how over or undervalue the current price is relative to different fair prices. Feel free to take your pick of which fair price you trust more. Performance. If you only care about the stock returns, this part is for you. So let's see how our company's stock has performed year to date over three years, five years, and 10 years versus its industry and this S&P 500. I'm not including this as part of my analysis, but I just want to give you a different point of view here. And that's how our company has performed as a stock. For better or worse, most investors really only care about the stock price and if it'll go up and by how much. This doesn't tell us about the future, but it can give us a good idea of how the stock has done and may continue to do in the future. Final thoughts. Here's what you can take away from this analysis video. One, you can go with the fundamentals and choose your investment based on that. Two, you can invest based on the fair price and look for bargains. Or three, you can ignore the first two and invest based on pure stock growth, riding the wave of hype. That way you can make a more informed decision on where you should put your money based on your preference and strategy. So remember to check out my Patreon. Your support is always appreciated. Invest wisely and as always, take care of your money.